Sharewell opens to the dashboard, which shows a variety of data. You can double click on any data here to drill in for more information. For example, you can double click on the number to the right of my work to view your own open incidents. Or you can double click on the word my work to open your own and your team's data. From here, I can again click on any of these numbers to see information or any of the specific tickets in the charts. So for example, if I go to Team Open Incidents and SRs, or Service Requests, and double click here, it will show me the list of those four tickets. Now this is what's called the grid view, and you can either view in a grid, or if you turn the grid off, you'll see a list like this. But the nice thing about grid view, and again you switch it by going to View, and then choosing Results in a Grid, is you can do a lot of customization with the columns. If you right click on the column header, you can choose Customize Columns and add or remove them as you choose. You can also move the columns around the order you prefer and you can sort by any of these columns. If you do turn Grid View on for one item, it will be there the next time you come back to that. Anytime you want to go to back to the dashboard from anywhere in Sherwell, click on the greenhouse icon near the top left. There are other options available through menus and toolbars. From File, you can choose Log Out, and this will allow you to either log off and change to a different user. You can also change your role here in addition to just exiting the program. Under View, you have the option to hide and show various things, including the task pane. The task pane is over here on the left, and it includes the quick search. And Quick Search lets you search through just about everything in Sherwell. Just specify what type of item you want to search for, perhaps incidents, customers, or knowledge articles, and click Search, and you can do that. There's another Quick Search up in the top right corner, and it has similar functionality. To the Customer menu, you can open the Contact Manager, which allows you to search for anyone, and this data is updated nightly from PeopleSoft. You can navigate through the list of people alphabetically here, or you can use the search. Search is on the bottom of this list of letters here, and I can type in a full name, uh, complete first and last name that is, or I can use a wildcard search, and the wildcard is going to be the percent sign. So for example, I could type N I percent and then let's try G A or G L excuse me percent and I'll go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna search through and pull up my results. The other thing you'll do through the toolbars here is creating your new tickets. That's gonna be under the new and new incident and we'll talk more about that in the next video.